naturally drawn to ba bake sales. <laughs> yourself a beverage and let's have a chat about your resumes. I'm drinking coffee today instead of my usual tea because my dog got me up an hour earlier than I wanted to be awake today. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Hillary, an essay specialist with Vanguard College Prep. We work with students on test prep, college essay coaching, and most importantly for this video, college counseling. A lot of students don't think much about their extracurricular resume. After all, you're going to enter your activities on the Common App anyway, right? On the contrary, your resume is an essential component of your college application. It provides admissions officers with a snapshot of your interests, skills, and achievements outside of academics. And if you take advantage of the opportunity, it can show off exactly what's special about you and why they should accept you. To make your extracurricular resume stand out, here are five tips you can follow. Too often, we see students who think that they can't fit much detail because the resume can only be one or two pages. But it's the opposite. The lack of space makes it even more important that you fit in as much specific detail as possible. Don't just say that you had a leadership position in your club. Explain exactly how you contributed to that club's success. The goal of the extracurricular resume is to give the admissions officers a sense of what you actually do every day, so go into detail. What if all I did was go to math club? That's fine. How long have you been a part of the math club? Since I was a freshman. And how long do you spend in meetings? We meet once a week for an hour. All right, and what do you do in those meetings? Well, we go over math problems to get ready for competitions. Sometimes I make a presentation with problems from last year's competitions to help us get ready. Did you attend competitions as well? Yeah, I went to an AMC competition this year. Awesome, that's already some great info for your resume. Just with what you've said, I have a couple points like attended club meetings one hour a week assisted in preparing for math competitions by creating and introducing PowerPoints based on math problems from previous years, and competed in an AMC math competition. Lit. Sometimes it's hard for students to remember everything they've done, which is why tracking is so important. From eighth grade on, we give our students activity trackers so they can note down details from each of their activities and accomplishments. If you haven't been tracking since eighth grade, that's fine, it's never too late to start. I is naturally drawn to numbers, so include them whenever possible. For example, rather than saying that you raised money through bake sales, it's a lot more impactful and eye-catching to write that you organized bake sales that raised $500 of funding. Notice that word organized up there? Rather than weak or passive verbs like did, handled, or was responsible for, try coordinated, executed, managed, etc. Strong action verbs tell the admissions officers that you are proactive and that you really make an impact in the organizations that you're a part of. In every aspect of your college application, your goal should be to tell a story about yourself. Don't just list your activities in chronological order on your resume, list them in order of impressiveness. If you're an aspiring doctor, don't give the same amount of real estate to all your activities. Include an in-depth description of your Alzheimer's research and only a brief mention of founding the Table Tennis Club. This is one of the biggest issues I see when working with students on their resumes. If you've accomplished something, if you've made a real impact, then sell it. If you got into a selective program, tell the reader how selective it was. If you've mentored other students on your sports team, go into detail about how much they improved. This is your opportunity to brag, to show off how unique and impressive you are so that colleges have no choice but to accept you. Leave a comment if you have a question on test prep, college counseling, or college essays that you'd like me to answer, and subscribe for weekly college prep content. The chocolate from the chocolate milk I added has all fallen to the bottom.